Right, so we're going to go one item at a time. I'm going to show you it. And at the end, we're going to make the best outfit. Whoever gets with the best outfit title. usually ends up with me in a dress. You'll just have to wait and see. Ends up with me looking like a, a superstar, pop star, super cool lady. The only rules are you've got to go from the top. No digging, no, no looking. First pick. We'll show you the items bit by bit and at the end we'll pick our outfits and give you a little show. Show, show. I'm excited. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Okay, here we go. Cloven, mix box, Amazon, warehouse returns and clearance. Uh, RRP over a hundred pounds. Let's go. It's going to be saucy. Right, I'm going straight in. Oh, wait, we've got some paper. Okay, so far I have got. Oh! Oh! I have got some ear warmers. Ooh, very nice. Hmm. We do all of these um, types of videos on Facebook. We'll be live tomorrow night on Facebook with our next mystery box as well. Go we'll try to open the box while looking at the camera. <laughs> right. Huh. I've got. Ooh. I'm going to win this. I always, I always win it. Well, comfort over fashion, let's just say that. These bad boys, what is this? They're going to be my size and they're going to be the they front face. Not they're absolutely your size. And I'm telling you, these are going to be... They're not my size. No, I think they're your mum's size. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you know what? Your mum would probably oh, no. suit them. I'm in them. I am in them. I can... You're them. Oh, my Babe, God. I think you should wear them 360 super sliders tomorrow. I mean, these are a bit high up. I'm not going to lie, babe. They don't look as ugly as I thought they were going to. They actually look quite cute on your legs. They are so comfy. Are but they? I would say they're a size four, but the floof, it gives room. Good floof. I'm, I'm putting them on. Expensive right floof. Babe, oh. you've got no idea how good they are. Oh, oh. I'm going to win this. Are just, you? just on these slips. Well, I've got. I have got, this is not an ad guys and everything is donated to charity. No babe. What on earth is this? What? What is it? What? It's a... Okay. Not quite sure what it is, but actually the more I look at it, it is freaking cool as out. For those of you who lip breed, Abby says, I'm not too sure what it is. What did you say? It's cool as out. But it's cool as out. Very cool. Right, but it, it comes for these. What are they even for? What is this? This is very strange. Oh my god, oh my god, this is like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, I thought clothing, I never even thought about the accessories. No, mine's have got all been accessories. Oh, look, Monday's pair of slips, Tuesday's pair of slips, knew they were a size four. They are so comfy. I can't even tell you how comfy those bad boys are. <laughs> right, I have now got, let's go. More ear warmers, I'm not going to open them up because they're better be, donatable. They better be closing here. Oh, oh, right. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Slippers and spikes. Yeah, it's alive. No, no, Come in, not just pure luck. I know, I think this is a bondage pack. You're likely to see it when people have interacted with it. That's why I always ask people at the start, even to write a comment, if everybody writes a comment and stuff, that's, that's how it helps to get people in. I know a security guard who wore one during lockdown. To be fair, it looks pretty cool. I think it's, 
Actually pretty. Right. Thank you, nice. Sophie. What are we thinking about this? Oh, that, oh, let me feel though. Oh, babe. I can smell shit. What? I can smell shit. You can smell shit. Aye, I've smelled it all night. Can you? Aye. Can you smell that? No. Me? Is it me? I'm starting to think that it's me. Like, like, I've been cutting the grass and Turn then... around, does a job hit your back? Is it? I just smelled it again when you came closer. It's not me! I'm not saying it's, it's you. <gasps> oh! Oh, wee! Don't be so rude. Can you smell that? No! I think I've got a bit of sh my nose. It's probably in your nostril hair. No, babe, that's, that's expensive quality. That is good, that's mine, member. Oh, no. Well, my outfit's looking comfy right now. Oh, no, wait till you see what I've got. Huh. I'm not kind of sure what kind of clothing this box is, but it's... Bird of the rain, no sweet. Baby reindeer. Oh, no. Who watched that baby reindeer? That was absolutely class. This is freaking Martha's. Martha. Martha. That is cute. I'm going to keep that for winter, you know. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. So you can see that. Like do it. What big girl. Me? Big girl. Somebody said that to us. You just totally remind me when you joke about of. Uh, Oh, Miss, Miss Posse, can I get a jump sandwich, please, Miss Posse? You be him. <laughs> Miss Posse, a jump sandwich, Miss Posse. Don't we? Oh my god, I can smell that. What is wrong with you? Is it my slippers? There is no jobby here. Babe, you're making me paranoid. No, I'm telling you. It's not me, I smell good. I didn't even fart, no. Oh. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've the got. The fish babe. video, everyone needs to watch no, it. Baby. They do. Oh. This, with that little earmuff. Oh, yeah. It's a holly jolly Christmas. Best time of the year. Of the year. <laughs> Du, 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 du. It is very festive, isn't it? I'm yes. thinking the easier. What? It's getting a little bit more festive. Thank you, Jess. It's, it's festive. It's naughty. I know. How could they put that in with it? Spicy hearts. Oh, what you got? Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> oh my God! Behave! I oh. wouldn't just having these. No way! They have a built-in hand warmer, 390 suction That's fit. ridiculous. Look, babe. Check your shoes that you just took off. Please tell me they do not have Jobby on them. Where's the shoes you just had on? No. Jobby free? No, because these are the ones I wore. Hey, do you Jobby? Is there a Jobby? No. Is there a jobby on your shoe? Nope. Are you sure? Nope. Hmm. No jobbies here. <laughs> no jobbies. This house is Everyone, I hate to ask, but truly I have no other option. Oh, I've lost your comment. I thought Baby Reindeer was boring. Do you know what? I actually spoke to somebody else who was kind of feeling the same about it until I told them it was a true, completely true story and the gentleman playing the guy in it was actually the guy that this all happened to. Yeah. And it totally changed their mindset and they continued watching it. Yeah. But I think but something, that's... yeah, something like that. It does change your perception when... You know it's completely a true story. And then even more like crazy to think he's playing himself, like jeez. Oh no. Oh. If you think I'm matching you with jumpers, it's not happening. Babe. Babe, we could be that couple. No. No. I will make it look better. Babe, we could be that no. couple that like match.
their codes, their color scheme. No. So if you've just joined, this is a mystery box from Amazon. A mystery clothing box and accessories by the looks of it. Uh, and at the end, we're going to see who has the best outfit. We're just going to make so an far, outfit out of our bundle. And I've so got far, the best. Oh my God. Call me Mary. Right, call me Mary. Call me Mary and a fling of sausage up my... I'm going to look beautiful in that. Woo! I bet you you would suit that. I bet you that's something that you would just put on and you would look... You turn. Change your mind. <gasps> no! How am I going to finish my outfit? Wapoo! <clears throat> these are like every, like when I was growing up, every mum had these in their holiday like bundle in yep. their summer. Oh yeah. A wee pair of white linen trousers. Yep. My mum, my like, nana, yeah. my aunt Bertha. A wee pair of white linen trousers. You can literally never go wrong on Christmas with something. Eh, <laughs> Christmas, summer. With something, something like that. You guys are amazing. You both should be so proud of how far you've come. Thank you. Smell the box. Or the, it's not the box. I think it's my top lip. I was, obviously we pick up the dog poo, if there's any in the garden, before we cut the grass. But I've got a wee tractor lawnmower and I feel like it's just... It's caught one. one. It's caught one or something. Uh, yeah. But where did the caught one go, babe? People are asking what a jobby is. A jobby is a... Fecal matter. Female fecal matter. A fecal matter that sometimes can happen in the nether regions of the oracle of the sheep height. Atmosphere. And the atmosphere can very swiftly change. Depending on Fahrenheit. Absolutely. De higher the Fahrenheit, the higher the staunch of Joby. She's no lying. Absolutely not lying. That is a true story, mm -hmm. I can assure you. You heard it here first. Did it just get me something spicy in the bottom of this? Oh, because that was very spicy. Yep. Right, what have we got? Oh. I've got myself a full summer oh, outfit. I've got myself a full summer outfit and I look like this. No, no, that's it. Oh my god, this hat's so cool. <laughs> no, babe, this. No, so it's that. actually, my feet have never been this comfy in my life. Mm. Honestly, I, it's like I've just checked my feet into a five star hotel. Really? And my head when that's on. Feel that. Oh, yes. Feel. Babe, I thought you were going to kiss me there and that was going to be really weird, like... <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Can I like see the shoes? Oh, they're, they're like... Oh, they're doing... They're doing bits, them shoes, aren't they? Support. I really needed that support. No, babe, but I will give you that support because like these see, here look a wee bit higher, babe. Oh, no, oh, the, no these here. Yeah. Oh my God, you can see everything. Oh, oh God. Right. <laughs> we nearly slipped a lip there, sorry. Very sorry. Well, you're a riot. Do you know what it is? It is overtiredness. Hudson had me oh, up. Oh, babe. If you see my Facebook status. Oh. Ah, I don't only that. have them in white, but I got blue too, baby. I better get a pair of trousers. Blue. So, so for You've had three goes, Abby. Why are you saying? Look at me. Yeah, good choice, babe. Look what you've got. Let you've me had see. three shots more than me. No, not. Someone be lying. What is that? Oh my god, Jess. Aunt Slip. Aunt Flo's slipper 290s, that's what they are. You're right. You got that right on the nose there. Abby double dip, what on earth are you talking about? She likes to double dip and I'm always like, hey, wash your hands. Ew. No, she's like, oh my God, perfection control. I know. Right. Go, go again. Was that the Joby? Oh! Did you see that? Shh. Did you see that? I've seen it. I've got two sets. No, I thought that was going to be an ear hanger. Like you literally go like that, hang it on your ear, right? 
and then I pulled off the wee tag. Oh, it Watch just, it. It flips. Wait. Oh! Hey, that's not for your ears. Why is my ears so big? My, ah! my head's so big. It no. doesn't reach my ears. They would be like that, but it's not. It's to put the pajamas together. No, it isn't. Yes. No, it isn't. Date night. Oh. Why are... Babe, you... why... Why is my head so... It's not even reaching. Babe, you do have quite a large noggin. A, a very large noggin. Oh, look, here's some ear warmers. You can warm up the tip. <laughs> Just heat up the tip, love, that's all. Right, now I've got myself a wee maroon burgundy. Burgundy. I feel like you're doing me the dirty. No, I'm not. I'm just like picking. Oh, huh? you look at that, bad boy? Mm. Here we go. Silent night. Holy night. Holy night, you yeah. uh. All is calm. All is calm. All is bright. All is bright, you yeah. uh. Round your virgin, round your virgin, mother and child, mother and child, yeah. Uh. Babe, that's like, babe, we should go to Prince oh, Scott Tower. We better, that. we better slow that down. So, hey, right, you just went and pulled the full universe just that like, we could do a song like that. Just let's keep that between, between us. us. Yeah. Like, don't tell anybody that we just use, just witnessed our interview. You never seen nothing, okay. Oh, oh ho! Right. What is this now? How do you order a mystery box? I don't know which company this was from. Right, babe. Look at oh, babe. Oh, that's a shame. This would have really suited you. Oh, look at that, right? No, look. www.boxmystery.co.uk. Use code LUCKO. L U C K O on your next order. Babe. Look at that. You would have really suited that as well. I would have. I would have. Could you just keep that in? No, we're not doing trade ins on this one. I stated that right at the you start. Didn't. It was in my safety she didn't. clause. She absolutely did. I did. That was in the safety net. Like, no swapping, no trade in this time. It just wasn't happening. I know. I'd be able to have a fantastic outfit and pull all not, as always. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to go to the Christmas markets. <gasps> Oh my god, this goes with my hat, I could cry right now. <laughs> I don't you step on my blue suede trousers. Blue, blue, me, blue, I'm gonna pull you. I'm not sure how I feel about them. Yep. Oh. Don't feel Might like be a wee bit big. I've got to say that and go to die for me. <laughs> <laughs> That would be embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah, oh, I'm ready to try my outfit on. What the hell? Oh look, they're black ones. We could be matching. Look at these. Gianna like them. If you want them, embarrass her. At Christmas time, I'll wear the beige ones. She'll she wear the black. She absolutely will not like them. Yes, she will. No, she won't. She's going through the kill stage. <sighs> Tickle for school. Put on my blue suede trousers right. and they fit. Bought it a plane. Babe, we could look like we're going on like holidays. We could play doctors together. No, we could play going on holiday together. Touchdown mm -hmm. in the land of the dead. Where's my dogs? Sleeping. Why can I hear a dog barking? It's not our dogs. I think it's a tail. Cool, Abby needs to give you the white top as she dipped three times. No behave yourself, what can I? Get out my pile right now. Babe, look at my bundle, there's something very sus going on here. Whoo! No babe, I've got all earmuffs. I you can have it. No, I don't want that one, I want that one. Oh. I want that one, get off. <laughs> babe, see. Yep, Secu everybody says I should have Secu that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should. Yes, it does mean you should. No, it doesn't. I'm people getting ready first. Well, do you know what? People say I should have a holiday. Ah, no, they didn't. Let's go. Let's go. We're all going on 
Shamahali. Right, are you ready? You've got to rate her outfit. See who puts the best outfit. Well, I'm that stressed that my hair's falling out. Together, right. Okay. You got all your hair's falling out. Ah, yes. Right, well, I go first. Aye. You go first. See what... Oh! She's taking the chair away. <laughs> That's my prop. <laughs> Can you see me in any reflections? No, nope, not yet. Oh, tell them what I've done the night. Didn't you me? can probably hear my chihuahuas at Birmingham. Tell them what I've done the night. Oh my God. We were at Cole's brothers for dinner and she was sweating hot and she had a zippy jumper on. Well, she forgot she didn't have a t-shirt or that. Full of, uh, the full on, room was full. Underneath, so she started unzipping her zippy in the middle of the living room, front of everybody, and was like, whoop, I've no t-shirt on. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm such a cutie. Uh, I knew I would suit this. Just got to make it look a little bit gay. I know, everybody's very upset by the clock. Well, I was winding them up there all night. I'm just going to leave it. Until it changes. Yeah. By itself. We're just going to have to wait on the clocks changing Are again. Are you ready for the big <laughs> reveal? I'm not ready yet. Oh, she's not ready. God, them shorts are getting a bit tight for me. Stop shrinking my clothes in the dolls, right? Well, I was thinking that. See, when I put these jeans on this morning, I really had to girth it round here. <laughs> These jeans, I've had these jeans. These are probably the longest withstanding jeans I've got in my cupboard, actually. I'm sure these are from Sheen. I'm sure I got these in sh from Sheen in lockdown. And they were always too big for me, but now I've put weight on, they fit. Oh. Right, are you ready? Although be it a little bit tight, but they fit, right? Move that chair, babe. Oh, she's ready. She is ready. I'm coming up. What kind of song we need him for this outfit? Oh. <laughs> oh no. We have a superstar in the building. I would just like to present to you the one, the only Reggio Nana Blue. Are you ready? Not sure you're quite ready. I was up to the eye of the sky Donald, where's your trousers? Oh, and still singing Right, come, I mean, imagine you walked by me in the street and I was all confident, like, Yo, what's up? I would, you would just think, you know what, she's got style. I would, look, babe, look at me. No, I was thinking, like, Jamiroquai. For not the shoes, right? But if I was on a night oh, no, like that, you'd still fancy me. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, like if I walked in a club and I'd be like, ha, who is she? Tell me who she is. I'd want to know. I, I think I look class, right? Go on then, beat it. Beat it. I will. Beat it. Oh, I'm not sure you're ready for this kind of conundrum. Eh? What are we thinking? We're thinking it looks rather good, but not as good as what mine's going to look. It, it works. It does work. Look, it's a summer festival and I, I take stage as DJ. Wait a minute. Are you all having a good time out there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rattle, 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 rewind. Imagine. Works. See, that was good. You could continue doing that, you know. Rattle, 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 rattle. At least where the timing is slightly different. Something to do with the signal ratio. Right, we're ready, babe. Yeah. Right, introduction. Different please. time zone, exactly. Everybody knows it's a different time zone. You ready for this? Right. Oh, jeez, I don't even know because it looks that shite. <gasps> I mean, I like what you've done with the reindeer. You do? Everybody, welcome Martha! Hi! <laughs> 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 
You're scaring me. <laughs> no, but then you flip it and you're like, right, you ready for this? I don't want a lot for Christmas. Did someone said my mom in. And there is just one thing I need. Woo! I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Do you just try beating with your voice? I just Go. watch it for my hey. own. More than you could ever know. Are you reading the comments? Abby wins. No, they're all saying Cole wins. Right, you're a liar. Absolutely lying. Who's even watching this right now? Clearly a lot of people that know I'm the winner. Clearly that know nothing about fashion. Jeez. Cole wins, Cole wins. Cole, definitely Cole. Definitely Cole. Well, it's obviously the half. Eh? Have no, I'm still like, oh, look. Come back. No, wait, what does Jack say? What to be I look like I'm on the Titanic. We've just been to the thing of being. and oh. I always love you. Every night in my dream. In my dreams you. I see you. I breathe on you. I feel you. You. That was that was good, that was a wee moment Where that here. performance comes from absolute lack of sleep. Uh, I do not recommend it. Vote on the poll. How do I do that? I wouldn't do that. If I were you, that's quite dangerous. Because, well, we know. There, quick poll. Wait a minute, I'll do it. Oh, there we go. Cole, 75%. Abby, 26%. Can you see that? Huh? 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 Can you see that? Huh? Huh? I'm not sure what's happening. I'm very sorry guys, but we're going to have to end the live there. There seems to be a technical glitch going on in the social media world. Fortunately, something is happening. Things are looking very negative right now, but we <laughs> shall be back in the next few days. To you guys, ask the La Vista, baby. And to you guys, you absolutely know who the winner was. Liars! Have you seen the jumper? Have you seen it? Hoo <laughs> hoo! That is an awful jumper. Babe! No, I think this could look cute with a nice pair of jeans, you know. Hmm. Have a jam sandwich, please, Miss Percy. <laughs> we should do, we should do a. I think it'd be skip. Kevin and Perry go large wins. skip. Thank you. In the dark. In the dark? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That you would win if we were in the dark, but I would win in the daylight. I think that's what she was trying to say. Abby, I choose you. Thank you very much. I'm baffled by the time zone difference. It's just in Scotland. Like, here we're here in Dumfries and Galloway. It's got like this barrier thing and it takes the, the clock atmosphere. It almost like it, atmosphere. it bounces off. It, it flips. It misses an hour. And it rolls. And we're like, how'd that even happen? <sighs> Blown away. But it... If you in theory, it makes sense that we're an hour different. If you leave the Galloway, well, boom, you're back. You could and be in Spain. That's why they call same it... Same time. Galloway lasses. Yeah. We're a Galloway lass. Yeah. Uh, Ed Sheeran knows that because yeah. he knows that we're an hour different. And he knows about the Galloway lasses. The Galloway lasses actually come out at night when the hour's not there. Yep. It's a crazy story, but we'll not, we'll not bore you with that one anyways. Never seen you live on TikTok before. You've never lived. Just kidding. It's 11.11 11 here. <whistles> That's so late. Nope, not that here. It's only 11.9 here. No, it's not. It is. 9.10. I mean like 11 man minutes past nine. 11.9. Oh. 10. Nine. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Happy birthday basket. That was the name. Hmm. I think it said basket. It will <laughs> be like ba Bashkel or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking, right? We're the normal time zone. Yeah. I'm just then they change I've your no clock. Fixed it, right? That's like a lot of effort 
in the fixing world. Thank you, Ange. Ange? Hope you had the best birthday ever. I love Dumfries and Galloway. Me too. It's like a proper home town. Do you know what you like just... It is. It's it'll always be home yeah. to come back to. Yeah. I think it doesn't matter for anybody though. Where they grew up will always be home. No baby. Well, I don't know why people keep on asking that. No. Not pregnant. Anyone just joining, seeing the Christmas jumper? This, I mean, this, this is is a flashback from Christmas. This live. is the outfit I chose. We're not even to live wear today. Right now. And I chose to wear this. But if you can see my shoes, you'd understand why I picked the outfit. Absolutely, comfort over fashion. But what I was thinking, there has to be someone out there. that wants to go wearing my shoes with me because oh. you wouldn't even fit your toe in that. Well, maybe for the Mother's Day out on Saturday you could get your mum matching you. Mother's Day? I just meant like taking her mum's out. Oh. It's an actual Mother's Day. Oh. <laughs> ah. Thank Abs, you, Stacey. Do you have any tattoos? No, Abs has never liked tattoos. I just find them really unprofessional, like... Yeah. Definitely not. No. Like, it's actually quite scaffy. Yeah, just don't like them. Oh. What's my dad watching telly? What's my favourite tattoo? Well, I can show you what my least favourite... How did I get that out of there? Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on? Babe, I think the last time you shaved was when I'd done that tattoo. Dear Lord. Babe, I shaved on my night. How's that happened? Let me see. They've came out black. They're not only black, they're patchy. What's happened? It's got a big hole in it. It's like sprayed growth on my armpits. You're using some serum in there. No, it's not deodorant drink, is yes. <laughs> I'll be tattooed Brad on my pit, but you can't really see it, and I don't want to whip the pit out because it'll scare you because it scared me. <laughs> Literally, it's just <laughs> scared me. Gave it a fright there. Babe, what? Yep. I swear I shaved them yesterday, unless I forgot to shave them. No, I definitely didn't. Did you shave your legs? Yes. No. Was that like yesterday? No, <laughs> were you checking the area? Like, have we shaved? It's only like, it's smaller than the armpits. Hmm? Very suspicious. Oh, the beard? Smaller? Hairier? I'm actually really concerned. I know you think this is quite funny. But I looked at my armpits and got a fright, like as if somebody's, have you pranked me? Has somebody done something? Like I feel like you've paid. Has somebody done something? Like I feel like you've paid. Has somebody done something? Like I feel like you've paid. Has somebody done something? Like I feel like you've paid. Has somebody done something? Like, I feel like you've painted them black. Because I didn't have black hair. Look. Well, if you joined on time, you see, you would have known that we were doing an Amazon clothes haul. And you've missed it now. I didn't actually just, like, get up today and decide to wear this get up. I'm not being funny, though. It's hard for summer. I'm actually... Really no, babe. Like I'm, I'm really liking this shirt. I love it on you. Like, if I, I obviously have... didn't want to say that when we were doing the competition because people would maybe then pass it because I've said how cool it is. Like, see, for well, a breezy summer shirt, I actually really like that. Thing. I like the trousers too on you. Like, what? Yeah. No. Like, no, not. But if I like no, a pair of jeans. That is really nice. I think so. I'm liking it. 
Now your barbers is closed, do you have any projects up your sleeve? We do. Yes, Heather, it's on Facebook. It'll be posted now on Facebook. Do we have any projects up our sleeve now the barbers is closed? Do you know, our head is... We have got a big, massive decision to make and we were in meetings tonight. And it could be a very, very big, life-changing decision if we go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it feels really adult. Yeah, it feels very it's like, adult. It feels like the most adult thing that's ever came yeah. to us. Yeah. And, like, even someone of the person we're speaking today's nature coming to speak to us about it makes me feel, like, proud of us. Yeah. yeah do you know what I mean? really nice, yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel like, do you know what? We're... We're yeah, doing this. We're doing good. We're doing good. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Lauren. When is the TV show being aired? So it was supposed to be aired this month. And Thank you. for some you. reason, the TV show didn't get its slot. So it's not going to be aired until the start of next year, which is absolutely rubbish. Thank you, Heather. When you guys coming back down to see Biff... For a tattoo, need to get more. I desperately need to get to see Biff. I need to continue Life has this. Life just been too busy. We've not managed to get down to see him for some tattoos. But I think that could possibly be on the agenda before IVF starts again. That could be a good shout. And not only that, we got approached by a very big TV company that are looking... To watch our podcast, basically, to see how we come across for a big opportunity as well. Like, it's all happening, baby. It's all happening just now. It's all happening, baby. It's just so crazy. It's crazy busy. Real mad. Have you still got the tag on the Amazon? Yeah. It'll be donated. It'll all be donated, apart from the stock, because I'm really like... Yeah, you really see it. I'm feeling it. Can you feel it? Huh? I'm huh? day six after transfer. Court wishing you all the luck in the world, sending so much baby dust to you, and I hope you're feeling okay and your head's not too much in a pickle because I know how that feels. How did you both start to get on to social media? We literally, I, I, I joked about with the kids and done a couple of trends at the time during lockdown, and it was just a joke. And we had a laugh, then started doing our lives. And when we started doing our lives during lockdown, we done them every single night. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. And Thanks. what we realised that so many people were at home alone during lockdown. So each night we would get everybody to grab a coffee and we'd have a chat. And aye, it, it just grew from there. And then we started doing our content. I've always loved editing content and stuff. I, like, even since I met Abs before social media, I always vlogged our family trips out and stuff like that. But My God. aye, and then we got a massive deal with YouTube and it just changed our lives massively. Yeah. I know, remember us sitting on the stairs doing our lives. That is crazy. You're both very relatable, such good role models. Thank you, Lisa, I appreciate that. Uh, this clock's doing my absolute boxing, I'm just gonna have to... I think I'm just gonna have to take it off the wall. I like these are really annoying me, so you just stop mentioning <laughs> the clock. Just say, oh, look at the state of your double chin or something. <laughs> leave the clock out of it. Thank you, Caroline. Honestly, they were the best days. Oh! The chats and giggles. Thank you, Alex. That's so cute. What was that? A little meerkat. I thought it was roll. <laughs> I can see you, Vanessa. Yes, we were originally called Fox Fam, so we still are. We know who the original Fox Fam are, and that's all because of the, the foxes and stuff like that. I love drops. It means so much fun. We didn't get any of our IVF for free. We've paid for it all. 
But yeah, if if you guys can follow us on Facebook as well or Cole and Abby page, we do do loads of different types of lives on there and yeah, we've started Snapchat as well, which is Cole underscore Abby. And you'll see lots of fun on Snapchat. I have great fun. You literally fun. see our real life on Snapchat and Abby absolutely her bedtime conversations which are absolutely ridiculous they're hilarious sometimes they're a little bit funny i have great fun on snapchat i love it i literally feel like that mum who's just found filters that's what gianna tells me anyway i'm a facebook fan of yours first time i've seen you live on here yeah oh oh my god yes i remember you guys in lockdown eating sweets in bed Talking to us all the time, doing quizzes. Honestly. And we had, like, nothing to do in the morning. That was crazy days. What time do you think it is? Shugo time. What in the Christmas jumper is that? <laughs> do you have family in Scotland? Um, little crazy story, but we actually... Once done a lap of the world and we're like, Dumfries in Scotland, that's where I want to be. We kind of live here and just by chance our family live here too. So, yep, we're all Scottish. <laughs> I know, that was so cute. Drop some foxes if you've been here since the start. Wow. Watched you from day one, and the good part is you haven't let it change you. Still down air. Thank you, Julie. Do you know what? And and the most important thing that it's just time that's holding us back just now, unfortunately. But during lockdown, we made a change. Obviously, we've done all of our donations and stuff like that. That's the part that we're missing just now. Yeah. Very very hard as toddler mummies because we tend to do our lives at night when the kids are in bed sleeping. Um, and our lives and videos when Hudson's napping during the day so it doesn't affect our family routine as such. Obviously, when we've got our work with brand deals, that's just life. We've got to work as well. But... Um, I guess before it was a little different. Obviously, before we had Hudson, when Gianna and Kai were at their dad's and stuff, we then had that time. We could do midnight walks with the dogs. We could do different stuff. Now, having a toddler, it's changed our life. We've always wanted to be able to give back. That that was when we started getting big on social yeah. media. Our big thing was we wanted to be able to get at that big enough that we could change some people's life. And behind us, the, the scenes, we have helped people and we have helped change their life about. So we, ha we have done that and we've not shown it. But I'd like to do some content coming up of... Maybe just stepping into some people's lives and changing their life like everybody's changed ours from being able to do social media. Because our life's crazy and there's not one day that you would walk on the balcony and we're like, what? Everything we do though, like we went, we met up with Michael Bubbly and then we went back in our car and we're sat in our car like, <laughs> Like, how did we get here? Like, it's that's... almost like imposter syndrome. I know. Like Bradley from Big Brother, he's he's so genuine, he's so lovely. Mm -hmm. Just sent us an invite to his engagement party in London. Yeah. Like that's that's class. Like why us? That's what it feels like, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And he is, he's really genuine, he's really lovely, and we're definitely going. But yeah, things th things like that that have happened, they're just What's the name crazy. of our Snapchat again? Cole underscore Abby. I was going to show you on the screen, but how can you scan it if I show you on the screen? <laughs> you'd honestly deserve it. I can't believe, uh, believe watching from the very start of your TikTok to now. Oh, thank you, Borderline. Thank you, I appreciate it. And, and in some ways, of course, we'll have changed a bit because we, we have grown and that we can't... That's just life, unfortunately. It, yeah, it does back. change. Some of it might seem a, seem a little bit more professional because we have we do content creation um, for big brands and stuff. Like tomorrow we're going to Glasgow because we've got a, a, a massive brand deal. Like stuff like that. But other than that, we're still the same. 
Yep, I still fart. Still jobby like she everybody does. else. Who is the one celebrity you haven't met but would love to meet? Stacey oh, Solomon. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. I would love to meet Stacey. I think Stacey. she's the she's most genuine idol. celebrity in the world. I think she is amazing. I really do. I think she's just such a lovely, you, lovely lady. And her work, I love the work she does. I love her as a mum. I love her as a person. <laughs> Will you please do stand-up com comedy at my wedding? Me and my friends constantly send each other. I'm not sure how funny, funny we'd be, but we're not very would funny, definitely but be up for singing. You message me on Instagram. We can see how far you are and uh, we could maybe do something. Good calls. Very good at singing. You could, like, sing them a song. Go into the chat. Maybe you're practicing that. And we're going. I see. I'm sure I heard you. Practice. Get married. That's it. That's the one. Going to the chapel and where? Oh, she could. Go and get married. Oh, she. Oh, she fine. You're gonna get my girl. Yes. No, I'll not be singing up there, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, both of them together. They're such an, they're a beautiful couple. Thank you, Kelly Stevenson. You come up with my FYP. Thanks, Steph. And I loved it so much. I went to your channel and watched the whole <laughs> ones. Yay! Have you watched my recent three? If you've not already, after this oh. one, please go and watch them and give them some love. Thank you. Um, we're we're going to get start getting more into our short, short funny videos again. Ignore the haters. I've not seen one hater on the live. The messages are going... Too quick with the love, so yeah. if there's hate, I can't see it. What centile is Hudson now on for his height? 98th. He's a giant. He is... Uh, he's 92 centimetres, wasn't he? 90, 92 centimetres, so he's really tall for his age. Well, an average tall. Gets it off Do you me. still cut hair or just working on social media now? Yeah, we don't cut hair now other than family and friends. But no. I cut family and friends. They're like, oh, can one of you give me a haircut? And I was like... <laughs> and I'm like, oh, guess that's me then. I'm retired. <laughs> I'm retired for the haircutting. We need to do more of impressions of each other. Do you know what? We could think of them all day long. The minute we go to film, we're like... I know. Hmm. We need to start writing them down when we get the idea. Do you know what? You could probably give us ideas. What does Abby always do? What does Cole always do? <laughs> Thank you. Um, you pick your nose and eat it. No, I don't. You do. Why would you try and out me like that? She does. No, that's us rid of the shop now completely. The keys are handed back and the barber shop is no longer. Thanks, Jacob. We're moving on to a new venture, probably more than one, to be honest. Yeah. Um, We've got a lot of things in the pipeline just We're not now. silly either. Social media will not last forever, but for as long as it does, we'll have the best fun and enjoy the ride. But we've got to set up our family future as well. In the meantime, make sure we're all good. Any holidays book, don't put that in the red. No. Do you know what? That's probably... Biggest poultry I've noticed is whole hand, nose itch. Do you know what that is? As anxiety and this. Do you know what, though? You've got so much better with that. See, when I first met Cole, this drove me up the wall. You, that's sad, do you know why? You've done it 24-7. Because I get, do it when I'm excited. Oh. So you don't excite me anymore. <gasps> do that. Do that now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Not any time I get excited for a roller coaster or anything, I'll do that. Abby just decided that she, she she missed Christmas. So I was just like... Oh, she's getting with Christmas today. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. At Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Have you guys 
seen King Louie on here. Lovely lad, he's trying to chat with lots of creators. No. In a world of What's the key to having such a happy relationship? I don't know, let me know when you find out. <laughs> You've just got to smile and put up with the nonsense that comes out of her mouth. You, you need to watch watch our video from today, our last video. <laughs> that is just like, laugh. how much does that mean you? Oh, that is brilliant. In the morning. Yes. And it drives me batty. We need to do that, but for the rest of the day, like when you put Hudson down to sleep, you're like that, make sure you get to full sleep. And I'm like... So one time you want to be like, give it laldy as if you're in the bloody choir. Advice for being confident in yourself. For me personally, I'd never find confidence in myself if I didn't have the support from my wife. I, I struggle with things like that and I've got a very supportive wife. So every time I try and put myself down, Abby doesn't allow it. So I get up in the morning, I'm like, oh my God, babe, it's going, no, you're not, no, you're not. No, because you're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. No, don't give cool rainbow hair. Abby, you're absolutely punching. I know. I absolutely said cool, you're absolutely punching, no, didn't did it? Let me see. Go. You're a fever. I promise you. Nope, down, down, down. You'll see it's all in capitals. There, Abby, you're punching. Told you. Oh. I'm, so, I'm, what is? They think Told I'm, you. No, I'm, I'm close. No. It's the outfit, isn't it? it? It's the shirt and trousers. It's the snoppers. No, it's not. It's because they think my outfit's shit. They don't. They think my name's Abby. <laughs> Bring back Betty. How do you keep up with social media while being a parent? I'm exhausted for from trying to stay relevant. It is very hard. Um, a lot of people don't get that side of it, but do you do social media? I'm taking it by that comment, you do social media. What um, people don't understand is social media, for us personally and what we do, is not physically draining. It is mentally exhausting, mentally draining, which then can make you feel physical like physically exhausted, if that makes sense. No, it's not a manual labour job. I've had many manual labour jobs and it is nowhere close on that side. But when it comes to mentally and your mental health and like you say, keeping up with algorithms, keeping up with the ever-changing times, doing that around your family, it is crazy and it is hard, hard work. Um... Yeah, but you've still got to find enjoyment in it. And I think if you're creating content that makes you laugh, like sometimes we just don't even feel up to it the minute no. we do it, like the water bloom ones. Yeah. Made us in the best mood ever. So do content that makes you feel good. Yeah, 100%. I have an 11 year old girl that has come out. What is your advice for me as a dad, please? Honestly, Literally not making a deal of it in that way of, you don't, like, I'd maybe say to my daughter, you don't have to label yourself. I label, labelled myself straight away when I came out at 12, 13. But I feel like it is a really young age to put, a, a, like, a label as in, I am a lesbian, because you are still young. Like, I know young kids that came out at the same time as me that also said, they wanted to be a boy, so then they were trans. However, the older they got, they realised they were a tomboy like me. And I feel like when you put labels on yourself, you kind of got to stay in that label, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's just being there for her and supporting her and whatever her choice is and letting her know that regardless, be whatever you yeah. want. But, Daft question, but do you ever argue? We don't argue, we bicker. We're more like... Sisters bickering in that sense, aren't we? Oh, it, it, our it's arguments our... go. <clears throat> but then we're walking in another later, room like, and it's oh, like, oh, you see that squirrel? Yeah. That's how we get over an argument. Yeah. And if it was a bit like, meh, 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 that's when it'll be 
I'm sorry. I've just, I feel totally tired. Yeah. And that's why I've been grumpy. But it's always a one way argument. I've noticed that. Like when we argue, one of us is annoyed. Yeah. And then it's a sorry, but it's never a. No, never. I think probably in our full near eight years together, we've probably had two arguments. And that was probably way at the start. Yeah. Where you're just kind of figuring each other out. It's not even that. that. That's like exes involving themselves. Just getting in the the random messages and stuff like that. And it was like early territory. Yeah. She's feeling very Christmassy. That's about what. Do you do social media as a job then? Yes, we do. Yep. Your clock's made me realise mine is really fast. <laughs> oh, you really need to change your clock. Squirrel. Squirrel. What did I say? I don't know. Squirrel. Yeah, when we argue, we come back squirrel. and live and live. You see that squirrel? Squirrel. Squirrel. Thank you, Lulu. Do the mystery food challenge again. What was that? Just uh, American food and that. Mm-hmm. What other mystery food have we done? Or, or the brands against each other. Why is a straight man do I fancy Cole? Probably because she's female. Gay! <laughs> I'm joking, I'm the joking. The who just said that I'm absolutely punching. Hmm. Is it? No. I promise, she doesn't have a wiener. Purple burglar alarm. Do you, do you think it's harder being in a rela- lesbian relationship rather than start just curious? Rather than straight, oh, just straight, curious. straight, just curious. For me, personally, the only time I ever find it awkward is with the older generation because they think I'm a guy. So, which then I suppose that kind of works out, checks out either way. <laughs> but I, I would usually say my other half or that instead of my wife. For me personally, I obviously didn't come out till I was older. So for me, it's absolutely no different. But I don't think that's because it's easier being in a lesbian relationship, I think that's because I've actually got to a point in my life I don't give a hoot or an absolute thinking. shit what anybody else thinks. So I think that's the base of it. If you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, but if you surround yourself with people who dislike that you are gay, stuff like that, then... You're pregnant, Cole. It will make you miserable. No, I am not. But when you don't give a shit what other people think, like even when people tut or roll their eyes at me and go, I don't give a shit. It literally does not change my day. Yeah. No, uh, Gianna and Kai were conceived naturally. Kind of look like uh, Jamie Oliver. Yeah. It's the elastic waist. Is that what it is? Hudson like this. Sammy Ah, ah. Sammy Ah, ah. Kids are so accepting and adaptable, but how are they with their friends? Do they just say? Yeah, they just talk about their two mums as if they would their mum and their dad. They actually, even more so, I think, especially she's really proud of it. Yeah. To have two mums. Yeah. 